Hey guys, uh, we're going to take a look at um, our tool paths to double check before we head over to the shop bot to make sure everything is correct. I've got Jack's file open here. We can see that he has four tool paths, two quarter inch tool paths, two 90 degree tool paths, so that looks correct. I also noticed that he has a pair of lines here, which is good. Hopefully you did this correctly and you have uh, this for your pocket and this for your torch mate vectors that you're going to do for cutting your aluminum. Let's go ahead and get going on checking his work. So we'll start right in with that pocket. I'm going to um, deselect everything here and double click on his pocket and that's going to do two things. It's going to highlight the line that's associated with this tool path and I, I can see that he has the outer one which is which is correct. All right. It's also going to show me his cut depth, his start depth, um, which is correct. And I'm going to go in and just hit edit on this to make sure that he's got the right bit, the tool settings here. So it he's got a quarter inch diameter, path depth of an eighth of an inch, step over is 0.2, which is 80%, which is correct. Our feed rate's at three. This all looks good. What I'd like you to do is now go to the snipping tool um, and save these tool paths uh, as a picture. So I've got, I've got my snipping tool here. I'm going to hit new. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. All right. And hit file, save as, and I'm going to help Jack out here. Um, I'm going to put it right in his, his folder form. So we're going to go to uh, the tech drive. I'm going to pause this. Okay, I've got Jack's folder here, and I'm going to take a screenshot of his pocket, and I'm going to say 0.25 bit. Um, pocket so um, and I'm going to check your work to make sure that you you've done this correctly all right so next up we're going to check out the next tool path I'm going to hit cancel there close that out and I'm going to double check the other um, 0.2 profile tool path and I'm going to go ahead and click on it this shows me by clicking on this tool path it shows me that the tabs are here that the tool path is on the outside of the profile and that looks correct. If I double click here, I can see that it has tabs. They're the right size. They're 3D tabs. I can see that my cut depth is correct at 0.76 um, and I'm on the outside of the tool path, right? I'm just going to hit this, this, uh, whoops, I wanted to hit edit. I'm going to take a look at this and see that this is the same bit um, and we've got these feed rates set up correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, take another snipping tool. So I'm going to say new. Um, I want to take a, a look at this and I'm going to take it one step further in the snipping tool. I want you to go in and highlight so that you are really thinking about this. So my cut depth is 0.76. This should match yours. These are correct. Your tabs you're on the outside of the line and you've got the um, correct bit. All right, so take a look at these things. We slowed it down a little bit for cutting on the outside versus on the inside. All right, so that looks good. So we're going to hit um, File, Save As, and we're going to say 0.25 bit um, profile. All right, and we'll save that. And we're going to keep going and do this one more time. We're going to close that out um, and take a look at these other two tool paths. So I'm going to deselect that. Let's take a look at the V-carve. Double click on that. Notice that it has a start depth of 0.8, right? Whoops. Um, we're going to take a look at this. These are our feed rates, three seconds. Um, this looks good. Okay, so we're going to take a moment um, to highlight this. So we're going to go to File, go to New. We're going to go ahead and highlight this one. Um, same thing, come in with your highlighting tool. Just remember that this needs to start 0.8 down because we have cut that pocket already. Um, 
we've got a 90 degree bit and we've called it the right thing. We're going to take a look at that bit. It is the 90 degree bit. Um, we've got our feed rates and our spindle speeds lined up. So we're good to go. So in this case, we're going to go here and hit save as, and this is going to be our 90 degree and we'll call it our V carve. Hit save, so you've got a copy of that. All right, uh, and let's go take a look at our last um, tool path. So I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna call up this one. Notice that this one is on the line. The When I click on that, it's not outside or inside. When I double click on that, it, you can see that I've selected right on the line. Um, and that's what we need to, in order to do this little chamfered edge. Our cut depth is 0.25. All right. And I'm going to hit this as well. I'm going to come back and grab my snipping tool. Say new one more time. And we're going to take a picture of this guy just so I know that you've taken a moment to look at it. And we're going to grab the highlighter and say yes we have the same v carve bit we haven't changed our um, oops looks like we did up this is a feed rates for the v carve which is faster which is fine all right our cut depth is 0.25 that's important um, and we've named it this and the really important part here is that we're cutting on the line and we can see that right here so now i'm going to go back to here and go to file save as I'm going to call this 90 degree um, profile instead of v-carve because this is on the outside and um, these little pictures will help me um, confirm that you've actually checked your work because the the good thing about CNC tools is they do what you tell them to do and that's the bad thing too if you didn't check your work it's going to go out and do the wrong thing um, when it comes time to save these tool paths, we're going to save these together. And I'm going to, I don't remember if I showed you how to do that, so I'm going to do a quick review on that. Save tool path. Um, we can select these two tool paths because these are um, the pocket and they're, they're the same bit. And I'm going to say output tool paths that are visible. And notice that it's got the same exact bit and these are the pot, the quarter inch bit tool pass. So if I go to save tool pass to file, I'm going to go back to um, Jack's folder again, and I'm going to call it um, 0.25 bit. And actually I should put his last name in there as well. Um, I'm just going to abbreviate it. Holtz 0.25 bit and um, we'll say sign just so we know what project this is. Hit save. Now we're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to now select these two tool paths and because they share the same bit, we're going to hit save. Notice that these are the same bit. They have to be exactly the same number or else this isn't going to work. Output visible tool paths. Save tool paths to file. I'm going to pick his name, but in this case it's going to be um, 90 degree and Jack is ready to start cutting. All right, that's it.